Hey, Mike from California, this is your video. Let's dive in. For the price, I mean, this is actually a really nice house. A little bit more rough, a little more ragged. It's gonna keep those values high. Here's quarter mile comps. There's $260,000 houses right down the street. You'll be able to put your offer through me, and then after you close, Holden Wise, we can handle the property management. We'll even be able to help you with the insurance. We have lenders who will write loans for investors in all 50 states. This deal is 100% James Wise approved. James Wise denied. All right, Mike, what is happening, my man? Uh, as I had mentioned to you in the video I sent you yesterday, uh, I was splitting up the four properties that I was analyzing for you into two videos. Uh, so we did two yesterday, the two quads. Uh, one quad was James Wise denied, mm -hmm. and the other was James Wise approved. Of all the four properties that I have analyzed for you, that quad that I approved yesterday, in my opinion, I think that was the best of the four. Um, now, a lot of people are like, oh, would you buy this one? Would you buy this one? Which one would you buy, James? A lot of the times, the answer is I would buy both of them or I'd buy all of them, right? Uh, that does so like what i'm trying to say is like the properties i'm presenting to you today i don't think they're bad investments um, but in your situation i think you only have enough funds right now to do one because you had forty thousand dollars to utilize uh you know as your down payment so if for whatever reason that quad yesterday gets snagged because if you only have enough money to buy one i would buy that one if you had enough money to buy as many properties as you wanted, I would say you should buy three of the four. The only one I wouldn't buy is that very first quad that I denied yesterday. Uh, so these two properties that I'm going to present to you today, these are great options. Um, and, you know, just because you want to buy the quad I, I showed you yesterday does not necessarily mean you will be the guy that buys it. Uh, these properties are out on the market, and there is a heavy amount of investor demand. So if you get outbid on that... Um, these properties would be great alternatives, or if you do uh, end up, you know, moving some money around and you have additional funding, uh, I think these properties are going to be really good. So let me get into it. This is my second favorite, right? So if you could only buy one and that quad was gone, I would buy this one next. And then if for whatever reason you couldn't buy this one, I would buy the property afterwards. So let's start with this one. Now, I know you like quads. I love quads too, brother. Um, but as I think I told you in yesterday's video... Uh, there just wasn't any any more quads on the market that I thought uh, were good deals. So this is the closest we can come to that. This is a triplex, so we got three units. Price point one hundred and fifty nine thousand dollars. Nice little bungalow, or little uh, brick brick house rather. Um, this one is listed by a realtor who works out of Howard Hanna. 21051 South Lakeshore Boulevard, Euclid four four one two three. Now. Uh, Euclid, if you're familiar with the ultimate guide to grading Cleveland neighborhoods, I've graded Euclid as a B-class neighborhood. Um, for anyone else who is watching this video outside of Mike um, and you are interested in seeing what I mean when I say B-class neighborhood, you go to HoltonWise.com, you go to the Tools and Resources section. And then right here, you can click on the ultimate guide to grading Cleveland neighborhoods. Uh, what this is, this is a, uh, a grading scale of every neighborhood in the Cleveland area uh, as far as rental property risk. So it goes from A to F. Now, A uh, does not necessarily mean you'll make more money than a B or you'll make more money than a C. It is a level of risk. So A is the lowest risk. F is the highest risk. And when I mean risk, I mean like risk of uh, problems and bad things happening uh, because of the residents in the neighborhood. I mean, uh, lower the scale, the lower the property values. And we do that because there's a difference, right? Like A-class neighborhoods, you know, the price to rent ratio is going to be way out of whack uh, in regards, you know, in comparison to like a D-class neighborhood. And investors need to understand why, because everyone that lives in A-class neighborhoods, you know, the people have higher incomes, higher credit scores. Uh, so if all things were being equal, you would always think you should buy the lower class property because the price to rent ratio is better. But as you go down the scale, the risk increases, and that's risk of like your tenants losing their jobs, not paying rent, damaging your property, things of that nature. Uh, so the prices are all factored into that. So here's the ultimate guide. That's where uh, you can get that information of what I mean when I say B-class neighborhood. So Euclid, B-class neighborhood, 
I love Euclid. We have sold a ton of properties in Euclid. We have a lot of holdings in Euclid in the Holton Wise portfolio. They just recently put a new Amazon Fulfillment Center um, in Euclid, so that's huge. That added several thousand jobs to the neighborhood. And these are jobs that your tenants are going to have, right? Like uh, if something comes in and it's Walmart and they're paying $7.25 an hour and you're trying to rent the apartment for like 800 bucks, it's okay, but you know, you'd like your tenants to make a little bit more money. Likewise, uh, if you have an area a house like this and, you know, a bunch of 70, 80, $200,000 a year jobs came around in the similar neighborhood, well, the folks that are going to live in here, you know, are going to be willing to live in a property like this. They're, they're not the same folks that are making 200 grand. People that are making 200 grand aren't going to live in an $800 apartment either. So this is just like perfect though. What you have, you have Amazon, their minimum wage. They don't pay anybody less than 15 bucks an hour. So these people are right where you want them to be as far as the income goes. Um, all of those are reasons I chose this property for you. Now it's currently 100% occupied. Per the listing agent, we got three units, all are two ones. Uh, our rent roll, six fifty, seven twenty five, seven twenty five. So we're bringing in twenty one hundred a month gross, or twenty five two hundred a year. Now, as you know, man, that's you're you're not just buying the property and you know coasting, making twenty five G's a year. Don't work like that. You got expenses, so let's go over those. Uh, repairs, maintenance, vacancy, non payment of rent, capex. Okay, estimate. Roughly $105 a month for all of those items. You know, you can't expect to receive $2,100 every single month from your tenants. It doesn't work that way. You know, sometimes you have to evict people. Sometimes people pay late. When you have a vacancy, people aren't paying. There's a cost to evicting people. Uh, when people move out of your apartment, you got to, you know, renovate your apartment for the next tenants. You have repair costs. You have to, you know, replace certain things of the building every so often. Like your roof, every 30 years, you got to replace a roof. This is probably, I would guesstimate, like a six, maybe $7,000 roof every 30 years, you know. You might talk to sellers and be like, hey, man, how, you know, how old's the roof? And a seller might tell you, oh, the roof's good. Well, that's a, that's a horrible fucking answer. What, what do you mean the roof's fucking good? Of course, the, the roof is good right up till it's not. But if you have a 27-year-old roof... Uh, versus a one-year-old roof. Maybe they both don't leak, so I guess they're both good, uh, but the other one's going to need to be replaced uh, in three years where the other one you have, you know, 30 years of expectancy left into it. So you got to factor that stuff in. You're making all that money, but you got to put some of it in your pocket uh, to plan for when you do have to spend that six, dollars $7,000 on that new roof. Uh, other big ticket items I want you to be aware of, hot water tanks, those are going to run you about a grand. They last about 15 years for you replacing those. And furnaces, they last about the same time as roofs, and those are going to run you about uh, $3,000. Before I get into the rest of the numbers, I want to say that we should have um, – we got we're, we're looking like we're in pretty damn good shape in regards to the big ticket items. Uh, per the remarks from the listing agent, turnkey investment property in a prime location with nothing to worry about except collecting rent which is currently a total of 2100 monthly all aspects have been recently updated including windows in the last year updated kitchens and bathrooms newer hot water tanks furnaces and updated electrical all three units are two bedroom and come with refrigerators and oven so it sounds like you're not going to have any uh big mechanical items that are necessarily at the end of their life. So that's good. I like that. It's another reason I chose this property for you. Uh, back to our numbers. I'm going to hammer through this. Taxes, $264 a month. Insurance, 100 bucks a month. Uh, just so you know and anybody else watching this show, uh, just for anybody watching the show that's not Mike, um, you cannot buy this property. I have sent this to Mike in a private link several months ago. This deal is no longer available. Anytime someone purchases an analysis from me, I send it to them privately. Um, but then when the deal is done, I do release that publicly on the MLS Search and Analysis show. So everybody out there uh, who's just in the learning phase uh, of their investing career, all this data is out for you. I suggest you take a look at all the other episodes. And then when you're actually ready to buy, you could purchase your own episode uh, like Mike did here. And then you'll know that nobody else can see it, so no one else can come in and steal your deal. Now, these deals are on the open market. I'm not the listing agent of these deals. I've never met the seller or talked to the seller. I'm only working uh, in the capacity uh, for Mike right now. I have nothing to do with that seller. So, you know, 
as I'm speaking to this camera, they could be trying to sell to other people. Uh, these are things to be cognizant of, but I would never use one of my videos uh, that you paid for uh, to bring in other buyers to swoop in on this deal. It's not something I would do. So I explain all of that to you because what I want to let everyone else know, because I know Mike already knows this, but everyone else who's watching Mike's episode right now, uh, we actually have an insurance brokerage here. Uh, I am part owner of that company. It's called the Hogue Insurance Agency. Uh, my associate, Kevin Hogue, he runs the day-to-day -day operations for us. I'm going to put his information in the show notes below. Uh, we are able to insure you guys' as rental properties, multiple states, not just Ohio. So anybody watching this, it doesn't matter if you necessarily want to invest in Cleveland. If you're a landlord buying turnkey rental properties in anywhere in the mid Midwest, uh, what I want you to do is reach out to Kevin. He'll quote you. Uh, for a pile, you know, he'll quote you for your rental property. What we do, it, it, just like we do with everything else, guys, we focus only on investors. Um, so we understand what you're going through. We understand all you really care about is your ROI. So he's not going to try to upsell you on stuff that like a, a traditional uh, insurance agent would try to upsell you on, like, you know, riders that have to do with like personal property and just all kinds of knickknack stuff like i think there's even a rider that'll insure your wife's wedding ring something like that none of that bullshit man uh we're gonna get you a bare bones policy try to get your premium as low as possible so you can keep more of that cash flow where it belongs in your pocket so definitely reach out to kevin guys back to the numbers though uh so that's insurance kevin should be able to insure us for roughly a hundred after that, water, sewer, two and a quarter. We got three units here. Hardest thing in the world to estimate, but I think that's a fair estimate. Don't hold me to that. Some months it's going to be higher, some months it's going to be lower. Certain tenants are going to be different, man. Um, you know, everybody's different. Everybody takes varying amounts of showers for varying lengths of time. It's, it's like impossible to predict, but, you know, given my vast experience dealing with the thousands of tenants I've dealt with over the years, uh, that is a reasonable estimate, okay? If it's dramatically higher than that, we might have leaks. We might have issues uh, in the property that my team can go and address. After that, uh, two more, two more expenses we got to worry about. Grass cutting, okay? When Holton Wise cuts your grass, we, cu we charge uh, 33 bucks. And typically in the Cleveland market, to avoid all fines, we got to cut your grass roughly 16 times a year. Uh, we don't have to cut in like January, February, but about 16 times out of the year. So that averages out to 44 a month. And then last but not least, you got to pay the man. $210 a month going to my pocket uh, for all the services my team would be able to provide you in regards to the management of your property, thus making this investment 100% passive for you. Uh, we don't do that stuff for free, obviously, so $210 a month. So you buy this, estimated to bring in $2,100 a month, factoring in for all the variable expenses, fixed expenses, the gotchas, expect $1,158 a month to go towards your cost. So realistically, you'll make $942 every month or $11,304 every year. So by buying this property and paying us to handle everything for you, you should put about eleven dollars in your pocket. Some years will be higher, some years will be lower. Now, I am aware that uh, you know you don't have 159,000 cash to put into this, and even if you did, I wouldn't want you to, because I'd want you to finance this, man. That's that's the name of the game, stretching out that money. You know, you got 10 residential mortgages that you can utilize. Uh, your situation, I know you, um, I believe you own your own home in California, so that's one mortgage. So you're down to nine. Uh, after that, you got that quad you own in St. Louis, so that takes you to eight. You got eight mortgages. Um, left. So what you should definitely do is utilize those because that's the best set in the world, man. 30 years, okay, 30-year terms. All you got to do is put down 25%. So you can get yourself into this asset for only 39750 bucks if you bought it at list, which is 159000 Okay, so if you bought it at 159, you're in for under your budget of 40k. It's 100% occupied, so you got no immediate repairs you should have to worry about. Don't quote me on that just yet, though. If you do decide to make an offer, we want to make a contingent on third-party home inspector, and we can go from there. Uh, on top of that, there's something called point of sale. Okay, point of sale inspections in Euclid. Now I, re I read through the whole listing, did everything. The listing agent didn't mention a word about the point of sale. 
Now, I will tell you this, at this price point, when we make, you know, when you make your offer, whether you have me write the offer as your buyer's broker or you go directly to the listing agent, at this price point, I would say it's uh, you know, you should probably deserve to get the property point of sale violation free. By them not mentioning the point of sale, uh, could be a couple things. Uh, maybe they're already planning on doing it and they don't even, the guy didn't think about it. Or what I have a hunch is the, li the listing agent maybe isn't familiar working with a lot of cities that have point of sale inspections and he doesn't know about it. Because um, you talk to a lot of these sellers, a lot of these sellers, they don't know there's such a thing as point of sale. What that is, is before the property can sell, the city's going to come in. They're going to inspect the property. They're going to issue violations. One of two things has to happen. Either the seller can clear all those violations for title transfers, or you can agree to assume it, and then you're going to have to put money into escrow, and then you're going to have to pay separately to fix all those repairs before the city will release your escrow money, and you typically get a time limit. It's usually like six months. If for whatever reason you didn't finish it on time, a, you don't get your money back at that time. You don't get your money back till you fix it. And B, they could levy building code violations against you. Uh, so either buyers want, or sellers want you to assume it or they handle it. The listing agent, maybe they don't know about it. I'm not sure. They haven't mentioned anything about it. So when making an offer, my suggestion is uh, you make sure that you include uh, as a contingency to your contract that the seller needs to provide you a clear point of sale prior to closing. If it turns out the seller is not willing to do repairs, the deal's still cool, but I don't necessarily love it at 159 depending on how much you have to assume. If you got to assume like a $30,000 POS, which is unlikely given what the property looks like, I'll go over pictures with you in a minute, uh, you would need to negotiate right on that. <laughs> Uh, but just let me run through the numbers before we even take a look at those photos. So money down, uh, 39750 That's all the money you got to put into this, assuming you get that clear POS. So that leaves you with a mortgage payment every month, 604 Okay, so after you pay off your mortgage, you should be putting in your pocket clear profit, man, 338 a month. That's 4056 a year. So if you're only spending that 39 Gs, man, that's a 10.2% return on your money. That's a great deal. That's why I James Wise approved it. Uh, before we go to the next property, I just I just want to show you the photos, okay? Nice looking property here, man. I like it. Let's pull that up a little bit bigger. There we go. Okay, nice brick front. There's the back. Okay, he said we got newer windows. That's good. You could also go Section 8. Uh, probably even increase these rents a little bit higher if we started offering it to Section 8 tenants. You know, they got the, the hardwoods. This, to me, looks like a vinyl. That's okay. Now, it's 100% occupied, just so you know. So I assume this is uh, they renovated this unit, and then prior to putting the tenants in, that's when they took the photos, and they just presented those photos, which is a good move on their part because once the tenants move in, I mean, I'm going to be honest with you, it doesn't look as nice. It looks a lot more crisp, a lot more clean. One of the other units, I already went through these photos and stuff, it, it does show the property when the tenant stuff is in there, and it, it doesn't look as nice. Um, but everything I'm seeing so far, I like it. Okay, here's one of the other units. Like I said, you know, you got the tenant stuff in there. It doesn't show as well, right? You got stuff in there, but, um, you know, you need it to look like this to make you money. It don't make you money when it's empty, am I right? Okay, this would be your third floor unit. Uh, here's hot water tanks. That one is definitely newer than that one, just so you know. This is probably only a couple years old. If I had to guess, I'd say that one actually might be. I know they said everything was newer, but that's probably approaching 10 years if I had to guess, which is um, getting closer to the end of that thing's life. They last roughly 15, uh, just so you know. But this one is like, Chris, That's that looks only like a year or two old. And, and that's it, man. That's all the photos. Uh, so I definitely think of the four properties I've looked at for you. I like the quad. I talked about in yesterday's video uh, the most. Uh, if you could buy two, I would say buy that quad and buy this triplex. If you could only buy one, I would say buy that quad. Uh, if you couldn't get the quad, I would say buy this. And then uh, I'm going to go to a quick word from uh, the sponsor of today's show. And then after that, I'm going to show you the fourth property, which I don't love, admittedly, as much as this one and the other one. I think these are the two very best deals on the market for you. But the other one does have a lot of cool, cool things about it, and we'll get into that shortly. Once you've placed a tenant, there's no need to make trips to the bank anymore because with Rent Tech Direct, you can now accept rent payments via ACH. This automatically transfers money from your tenant's bank account directly to yours, using the same technology that banks do to collect auto and mortgage payments. 
Your tenants can even log in and make payments with their web browser or their phone. All this comes backed by the highest rated customer support team in the industry. Certified by third parties and ranked number one by our clients year over year, you get unlimited free access to our US-based support team by phone, email, and chat, who will help you getting started or anywhere along the way. High Return Real Estate is a true turnkey machine in Indianapolis, Indiana. This company was built for investors by investors. We buy, rehab, inspect, tenant, and sell stabilized turnkey real estate to investors with complete transparency on every step of the process. Every property we sell comes with a third-party inspection, both before and after the rehab, along with a six-month warranty on all major system renovations and our exclusive in-house property management team that has one goal in mind, provide our clients with high return real estate. For more information, subscribe to our mailing list in the show notes below or visit us online at highreturnrealestate.com. Hey, Mike, welcome back. Okay, so this is the final property that I have analyzed for you, the fourth property. Now, uh, here's the deal. Um, the housing stock in Cleveland, okay, we have like more or less an unlimited supply of duplexes. Uh, I love the quads, right? We, we've talked about this several times. Um, there is a much smaller supply of quads and triplexes. So this is a duplex, okay, but it's about half the price of everything we've been looking at. So your price per unit is the same. Um, so the goal is still the same, right? You got your own home in California. I know you originally lived, uh, you're originally from New Mexico, but you live in California right now. So I'm assuming you own that house in California. That's one mortgage. Uh, the second mortgage is that quad you own in St. Louis. So you have eight left, okay? Yes, obviously, if you can fill those eight with quads, that's the best case scenario. But you can't buy what's not available. So if there are no quads that are good, I'd rather see you buy duplexes that are good as opposed to shitty quads. Uh, so that's what this one is. Um, it's $79,900. This is listed by a realtor. I've done a lot of deals with this dude. Uh, his name's Anthony. He works over at Plum Tree. Good dude. Okay, let's just check out the photos real quick. Decent, decent looking, uh, you know, just decent looking duplex. Nothing super special. Uh, truth be told, backyard don't look that great, man. I'm not gonna lie. I call it like I see it. I mean, it's it is what it is. It's a eighty thousand dollar duplex yard and a C class neighborhood. That is the thing too. This is a C class neighborhood. So of all the properties we've looked at, just so you know, the risk is the highest with this property. Okay. Um, so the neighborhood quality is the lowest, right? This is C class property. Keep that in mind. Okay, there's another shot. Nice vinyl, vinyl siding there. And I think that was all he had. Okay, this property, currently, both units are rented. Each unit, 2-1. Uh, we got 675 700 So we're bringing in 1375 a month. That equates to 16500 a year. You know, at a price point of $79,000, that's, that's great rent, dude. Um, let's break down the numbers. <clears throat> so the repairs, maintenance, vacancy, non-payment, CapEx, just like with the other property, we're estimating uh, those in this property because, you know, those things are all going to happen. 69 bucks a month for all three. It's fair, fair estimate. After that, your taxes, they're, they're pretty damn cheap because the value is lower. Uh, currently, 1065 years, so you only got budget 89 a month for that. Insurance, as I mentioned earlier, I'll mention it again. We can handle your insurance needs. I have a link to that in the show notes. My associate, Kevin, he'll take care of you guys. Uh, this we'd be able to insure for cheaper. We'd only need to charge you about 80 bucks a month to insure this property for a landlord policy. Water, sewer, uh, 150 Same thing with the lawn care as before. We're going to cut it. Uh, the same amount of times, 44 bucks. Yards are all about the same on all the properties we've gone over. And then the PM is 137 So uh, expect your gross, 1375 a month. Your expenses should average out to roughly 707 a month. So by buying the property, you'd have an NOI, net operating income, 668 a month or eight grand a year, 8016 to be exact on my assessment. But again, my assessment's still an estimate, so just, you know, roughly eight G's a year. Some could be higher, some could be lower. Now, uh, I make, the, the majority of our portfolio is actually a C-class portfolio. That's what most investors um, are going to be attracted to because the on-paper returns are higher. So let's just go over those real quick. So 
Total investment's already occupied. You don't have to do anything. Yes, that yard looked kind of shitty, but honestly, I mean, that's... That yard, it's it's not the nicest looking yard in the world, but that is par for the neighborhood. That's like, you know, that's an acceptable uh, yard for that neighborhood. So 79900 is really all you, all you need to put into the investment. You know, you only got to spend half your budget, right? 19975 would be your down payment. So if you couldn't take down a triplex or a quad with that 40 Gs, you could take down two duplexes. Yes, if we found a great... Uh, quad or triplex would probably be the better move, which is why I, I showed you the other two properties first. I like those better. Uh, but this would not be a bad alternative. This is still a great property. Your mortgage is cheap, dude. It's only 59925 so your mortgage payment is only 303 a month. After you pay all of the operating expenses, pay me to run this property for you, you should put in your pocket 365 a month, so that's 4380 a year. You only put in under 20 Gs, so that's a paper return of 22%. Sounds much higher uh, than the other stuff, right? That's why the majority of our uh, portfolio is the C-class stuff. Um, so 22% return. Now, it's an estimate over the long haul. That's you know going up, going down every year. The thing that we do see with C-class assets, and I like C-class assets, and I think these are all fair assessments. Um, it should perform very close to this with your B class assets. They typically perform a little bit better. Like it's if you have like that one in Euclid, I would expect you to have probably a lower uh, amount of turnover, which is going to lead to lower repairs because you don't have to re up the unit for new tenants. You have less vacancy because you're not burning a couple months fixing it up and then showing it to new tenants. Um, and you know, the people are a little bit easier on the properties in the B class stuff. Uh, so that's why I like the other two a little bit more. Um, you know, we're going to run into a little more riffraff with the neighborhood like this. Like we're probably going to have to do evictions, you know, periodically. So if you haven't actually, uh, been a part of an eviction before, uh, in the show notes below, uh, I've actually filmed two evictions live, uh, on my other show on Holton Wise TV. That's tenants from hell. So I'm going to put that in the notes. Take a look at those. We go over the costs of evictions and allow you to really see what the process looks like. It's pretty crazy. And uh, I know there's other investors out there that are watching your video right now, and uh, they've never seen or done an eviction. And, you know, when my staff lets them know, hey, we got to evict your tenant, sometimes they tend to freak out. And uh, it's not the end of the world, guys. Uh, evictions are part of the game. If you want to be a real estate investor, uh, acclimate yourself to the fact that you're going to evict some folks. All right. Uh, so watch those videos so you know what to expect. Ain't the end of the world. Um, I have factored in stuff like that into my numbers uh, of this assessment, and the property still makes money. So keep all that in mind. Um, so, again, that last thing I'm going to say on this particular property, though, is if you could buy any of these four that we've gone over in the last two videos. I like the quad. I found you the best. I like the triplex in Euclid, the second best. I like this property, the third best uh, in one of those reasons is I think it's got the lowest quality neighborhood of all four. And then the second reason is, you know, it just doesn't hit your goal. You like quads. Your goal was to buy quads. So we provided you a quad and a triplex. Um, but if for some reason you couldn't get those, two properties just like this would be great. And these are more uh, replicatable uh, is the word I'm trying to say. Uh, the housing stock is just, there's just so much more duplexes like this out here in Cleveland. Um, so you would have no problem picking up another eight of these to fulfill your, your remaining eight mortgages. Um, that would be pretty easy. We could easily find these for you. It would probably be pretty optimistic to think you'll be able to take down eight quads in the Cleveland market uh, just with the amount of investor demand coming around worldwide. I mean, you know, you used to live in New Mexico. You live in California now. Uh, and you're here looking in Cleveland. I mean, you know, this is what I do all day. Uh, after I'm finished up with this video with you, I'm going to do another video from another client from California. So we have investors worldwide looking at the Cleveland market. And everybody obviously likes the quads, more rental checks uh, per roof and per mortgage. So the competition is very high. Uh, coupled with the low inventory so you know, might want to need to open your scope up to duplexes as well that is everything i got for you today mike uh, one other thing i wanted to show everyone who's watching mike's video i gave the numbers let's pull that chart back up tom um 303 was the monthly mortgage payment okay back to the screen here if you guys can see 
If you go to HoltonWise.com, go to the Tools and Resources tab. Okay, we have an amortization calculator. We have a mortgage calculator for you guys. So you guys can pull it up. You put in your numbers. So you put in your down payment. Or you put in your mortgage amount after you subtract out your down payment. You put in your, your estimated interest rate. And it will automatically populate an average in, uh, interest rate in there for you. Then you do your term, 15 or 30. And boom, you see all your payments, man. 303.63. On the chart, I wrote 303. Just so you know, when I do those charts, I stopped including uh, the change. Change the relevant, right? We're talking about semi-variable numbers. And it just it's cleaner uh, with just the numbers. And if uh, 63 cents a month on one of your line items is uh, making your investment go one way or the other, I don't think you should be investing in that property uh, or at all. So that's a pro tip for you guys. Uh, but then, like as you see, like it goes your principal, your interest um, on the whole loan. You know, shows you your balance. So if you think about, you know, buying something for seven years and selling it, if the market's hotter, something like that, you can factor in, see, see everything you're uh, going to be able to do there. So that is just one of the many uh, tools and resources that we have for you guys on HoltonWise.com. That's all I've got for Mike. That's all I've got for everyone else watching Mike's video. Uh, everybody who's new to Holton Wise TV, who's new to learning about real estate investing, who might be new to investing in the Cleveland market or some of the other various markets that I've got ground partners working, such as the Indy market, Indianapolis, Indiana, Birmingham, Alabama, Memphis, Tennessee, Toledo, Ohio, and much more. I want you guys to do yourselves a favor and smash that subscribe button and then do me a favor share this video with a fellow person who's interested in real estate maybe it's you and your wife Sh show it with your wife maybe a couple buddies getting together you know putting some money together maybe folks are investing out there with their parents but show some other person that you're interested in getting into this uh, business with so they can learn as well and then last thing before I let you go man hit the thumbs up button let YouTube's algorithm know that you found uh, a lot of value in my content. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. For the price, I mean, this is actually a really nice house. A little bit more rough, a little more ragged. It's gonna keep those values high. Here's quarter mile comps. There's $260,000 houses right down the street. You'll be able to put your offer through me and after you close, Holton Wise, we can handle the property management. We'll even be able to help you with the insurance. We have lenders who will write loans for investors in all 50 states. This deal is 100% James Wise approved. James Wise denied. Holton Wise has a worldwide audience of real estate investors. If you are a lender, home inspector, or anyone else with a real estate related business who would like to increase your sales and exposure with an ad in one of our videos, go to HoltonWise.com today. Cleveland, Ohio is widely considered to be one of the top rental markets in the entire United States. This is because here in Cleveland, our housing prices are low and our rental prices and demand are high. At Holton Wise, we provide the complete turnkey solution for all real estate investors, whether they are local, out of state, or even abroad. As real estate brokers, we will provide you with agent representation to help you buy properties ranging from single family homes to large apartment complexes. We even have referrals for lenders who can provide investment property loans to investors located in all 50 states, allowing you to capitalize on the use of leverage or other people's money. We have referrals to top-notch title companies so you know that all of your transactions are safe and secure, with every single property being delivered to you with clear title. Once you close on the property, we have an investor-focused insurance brokerage who can handle all your property insurance needs. This insurance brokerage handles auto, home, life, and business policies, but they specialize in working with policies for landlords. We also have full service property management. We can handle all rental property advertisements, tenant placement, rent collection, evictions, maintenance, landscaping, construction, and repairs. In addition, 
Fulton Wise also offers digital media and education. One day, when you are ready to sell your investment, Holton Wise, as the number one seller of investment properties in the greater Cleveland area, can market your property in a video, just like this one, to our worldwide base of investors who are looking to capitalize on the high cash flow opportunities in the Cleveland, Ohio market. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from health. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.